Welcome everyone to today's episode. As I said, we also wanted to test the Verge acceleration on real hardware. So I put here the Verge and also the Trio, but the Verge is certainly more interesting. And it worked for the most part. And by the way, as you can see, also peeled off this ugly color something sticker there. I wanted to see the actual chip ID and such. Certainly more interesting than a stupid sticker. Maybe also get quite a bit warm actually. This is this IDT wind chip and this is actually really cool, especially with my halt instruction there in this loop waiting for the mouse movement. On the DOS prompt in BIOS it is certainly much warmer, but the halt instruction is doing wonders there. So this is getting quite warm and I always wondered those stickers in general probably only can make heat dissipation worse. So anyway, so this worked for the most part. I disabled quite some things so I also have here the register right so I added some debug code so these are the current drawn parameters here x y delta y major direction start the computed fractional start and delta and then the register writes here click quite neat like this these are this kind of things that you need to resort to especially if you're not running a real operating system where you can ssh in and such but anyway, still figuring out my best guess here right now is that I mean obviously the start and end coordinate looks quite okay-ish. It's just somehow filling in the wrong direction or something and also maybe this delta value is supposed to be a different sign or so as I have the feeling this is overflowing and somehow filling into the wrong direction. But we set the direction a little bit left to right. I already tried there to reverse it, that only resulted in other kind of artifacts. So we'll take some more minutes to figure out what's going on there. But these are the kind of things that you need to deal with. Also the specification here was a little bit unclear actually. Here this x start here is a little bit strange and adding this value. So in the meantime I figured out so this is basically adding half of this but Something is also strange here with the signs, but given that this is not working, I have the feeling there is something fishy. Maybe this is not 100% true. I mean, you can certainly reverse this, but maybe you need to reverse some signs in here because this also doesn't make sense. I either here is a typo that this is minus because this is adding half of the x delta. I also know why because um, I can show this later because otherwise the first part of the line segment is too long or too short depending which direction you draw. In the meantime I understand why they do this to make the line look really uniform but anyway here is something really strange here also and which is maybe why it's working in the emulator and doing this overflow stuff here on real hardware that these formulas are somehow a sign missing or anyway still trying to figure the details out. I will report back as soon as I find out what's going on there. So for a test I reversed here this direction bit, left to right, right to left. And this does not draw much here anymore, at least here for this X major, not J major lines that move faster into the X direction. So I guess this bit should be right and correctly set and not reversed. Unless they have a hardware bug there in the silicon and this lines never worked, which I don't hope is the case. I think it mostly should have to do with either the start coordinate here that due to this stupid calculation that I am also wondering whether they are even correct. X start, so the next will tweak around on this X start and also this X delta value here and hope to get these lines do what they should do. However, before short lines at least somewhat worked. Now short lines are even more broken. You see the pain, the pain of driver developers. By ideally having specifications is really handy if you reverse engineer this with some MMIO tracing of NVIDIA cuts or such. You, you, could, you can easily scratch your head for weeks over, over magic numbers going to some registers and wondering what all of these bits and pieces are doing. But as you can see, even when the specification is unclear or not 100% most accurately written, then you can still lose hours. 
thinking about the values and changing them until the hardware is actually doing what you want it to do. Yeah, this is really a strange thing. These are the 3D lines. And as you can see, those work in general. I guess the color is a little bit strange due to the color gradient thing. But, um, maybe I have some strange color in the color gradient. But yeah, this is really ridiculous. I'm not really sure. The extremely vintage XORG driver that still exists does not have this 2D line support and extremely vintage two decades ago some X33 had code that had some comment like fully working. So I'm not really sure if this hardware ever did lines correctly, if the Windows driver is using it. I also don't like this hardware API where you need to pre-compute so many values and at the end it doesn't really work reliably anyway. And as you can see, this 3D line API is much nicer, much more normal start, end, and delta coordinates, and this works as expected. So yeah, that's it for today. I will now clean this up a little bit and publish this updated source code soon, but... So with S3 verge uh, log so I have here some log, here start line, blah blah blah. And as you can see I have this here running. As I know already from other testing this clock is using line drawings. So this is probably the driver that came with Windows. This is also so ridiculous that the CD doesn't work during the installation. It was also total pain to install this old fashioned. Windows crap, that was really a pain back in the day. This is also similar how you would reverse engineer commercial binary only drivers today, running them in some kind of emulation and trap all the access. Of course, you need to forward this to real hardware then to see all the I.O. back and forth. But um, like with MMIO trace or something, See all the bit build here scrolling by and hello line drawing? Where is my line drawing? Okay, maybe I was simply not running the right version of the PC emulator. So let's double check everything again. So here we have now lines. Let's see a start line because we have the clock running. I think this lines uh, for sure only coming from the clock. Everything else here is likely not drawing lines. Maybe here's something, but maybe not. Probably makes no sense to issue line commands for some small stripes here. So the clock is doing this and as you can see, hopefully, yeah, start line. Of course, a mix of everything, something is refreshed, um, something is cleared and so on. So yeah, so here we get lines. Start line, start line. Let's grab to have a whole list of those. As we already documented everything. And I think this are shifted 20 bits with this is also really ridiculous that Windows always tries to look somewhere else. I was wondering this 20 years already when I was 16 and in school, that uh, how can a company be so stupid to look in other directories than the one you have just chosen? This is so ridiculous that you need to navigate there again when you just selected it. So what was the drivers? Let's keep the lock here scrolling. Okay, then I had earlier the wrong version running. So even with this version, we still get line drawings there. Then I was looking wrong earlier. Yeah, of course, the Intel CPU bugs in of latest times are 
of course very ridiculous that we have such kind of bugs in CPUs. So this is showing software version 4. Let's hope that really is correct. You never know what Windows is showing there. So let's shut this down and change the emulation again to the DX that is this one. What's this again? But wait a second, do we get no lines here? Indeed. But that would mean the hardware is not broken. Hmm. Okay, back to the drawing board. So now I copied here already some fixed values that we write to the registers exactly what this Windows driver is writing. I used the coordinates and as my rounding here is slightly different for whatsoever reason, I even overwrite the value for now, here and here. And this is how the line looks, which probably matches what the clock wanted to draw there. And on the real hardware it looks like this. So it should be from there to there, but something is overflowing there, so I must be Unless this hardware there really is borked, which I somehow don't believe anymore so much as the Windows driver is also doing this, I must overlook something obvious like some stride or maybe I need to double and triple check everything again. Can you believe I apparently found a bit and it was my fault. So the thing was, the bit was this one here, the mono pattern. And this mono pattern here I saw in the command from the Windows driver. Where is my window for the windows? So here is the command somewhere here, command set, which is of course decimal. Maybe you can change this in the GDB command line thing to hex or something. And so this bit is cleared to zero for bit BLT using ROP with a color source. So bit cleared to zero, bit BLT using ROP with a color source. Mm, color source. For mono pattern, the pattern formation is determined from the mono pattern 0 and 1 registers. This bit must be set to 1 for rectangle fill operation. I didn't really pay so much attention, especially this line was not mentioned here. So this bit here is probably was causing this erratic behavior. Let's revert here this hex of the fixed start position and this fixed delta. Re-enable here the actual quadrant star thing drawing and as well as not using this fixed coordinate from the Windows clock. Recompile, hot swap our IDE drive, hot swap it again. Switch our display. And we got line drawing, can you believe? So, of course, the quadrant is. Okay, here are some leftovers. Let me disable the remaining debugging stuff there and re enable the nice animation. So, ISR, are we even recording? So ISR What else did I want it? ISR and other debugging. Let's disable the debug printout, make it a little bit cleaner here. And we have color lines as well as 
Why is the text not garbled? There. Mm. Or oh, written some perfect memory. Okay, anyway, so finally the line works. Unbelievable, that took way too much time than it should, but yeah, actually in this case the register specification wasted more time because had I reverse engineered this I would have copied the bit pattern from the Windows driver. So I open coded the stuff by the spec and thinking we know what we are doing, we missed one bit and one bit caused that much time spent on this unbelievable. Yeah, hope you learned something. And now we can continue with other things again. I hope you like this video and want to share, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for the next tinkering to come.